I'm Lauren with IndoorGardening.com and today we're going to talk about houseplants that are safe for your cats. Majority of houseplants out there are actually toxic to cats, especially if they're being chewed on. Even begonia, which say they are safe for cats. If your cats get a hold of the roots, they are actually toxic for your cats. So it's kind of difficult to tell and to really research every single plant out there that you're interested in. So today we have a reliable list of six plants that are for sure safe for your cats. Not only are they going to be safe for your cats, but they are going to be fun distractions for your cats from other plants. So that way you can have your other plants that may not be very cat friendly up higher out of the way. And these can be fun plants that both you and your fur baby can enjoy. First up is Calathea. Calathea have big beautiful foliage. Calathea orbifolia in particular gets very big orb round shaped leaves. They have a little bit of striping in them and just a tiny bit of green on green variegation and little ruffles. But because they are so huge, they are like little umbrellas that your cat can hide under and play and bat at. Totally safe to chew on. Makes for a very fun experience. And because they are such prolific growers and they grow so large for you, even if your cat chews on the bottom leaves, the big leaves up top are going to look fabulous for you so you won't even be able to tell your cat's been messing with the plant unless you really dig into it. Calathea also love to be watered so if you are one of those plant parents that likes to water your plants on a regular and your cat likes to follow you and play with your plants while you're watering, totally the plant for you. Next up is one that's actually related to catnip, the spider plant. Cats love this plant because it's related to catnip. They also love it because its leaves are ribbon shaped and hang down and they look like a very fun dangly cat toy, usually variegated to draw attention. When the little tips of the leaves dry out, they can also make a fun crinkle sound, which cats love. It's also really fun and easy care for you as a plant parent because you just let them dry out, water them every couple of weeks to a month to depending. Your cat will just chew on them and have fun. They also propagate really quickly so you can either divide them or you can take their little baby plants, plantlets, and plant them up and root them in water or sphagnum or whatever. We have a whole propagation guide for you there. But they are generally invasive wherever they're outside so they grow very very quickly and you don't have to worry about having to buy a whole bunch of them. They're also fairly inexpensive. These are one of those reliable beginner plants that never disappoint either the fur babies or you. Next we have Maranta. There's red vein Maranta, lemon lime Maranta. There's a whole bunch of different varieties out there. In particular red vein Maranta are very fun because their leaves move up and down throughout the day. They create a little bit of movement and a little bit of noise throughout the day in your plant collection. Cats really like to lay in the sun and watch the prayer plant's leaves move up and down. They'll also move up and down depending on if they need water or not, which is very fun. So it's a very easy plant to take care of for you. When it stops moving, you notice it hasn't moved in a while, then you know it's going to need some water. It's also a very visual plant for you, so you can tell when it needs water or not. And if you are a very busy plant parent, then this plant is going to be perfect for you while also providing entertainment and enjoyment for you and your cat. Next up is ferns. Ferns have a very bad reputation of being very difficult out there. Get them in a self-watering pot. They will be absolutely fine for you. No problems. Give them more light than you think they need. Doesn't really matter what fern you're taking care of. For the most part, they're pretty easy care. If they need a higher humidity, then you can put them in a terrarium and your cat can enjoy watching them from afar. If they have these long elongated fronds, they're going to be very fun for your cat to enjoy. Because they will outreach so much, they will create kind of like a shady area underneath. Your cat can play under there with the dying fronds, the older fronds. Your cat can chew on little pieces of them. Your cat can bat them around like a little ribbon toy. They're also really fun for you because the top leaves will look really great as they produce more and more. They're a very classic, timeless looking plant and they can go pretty much anywhere. So it's a win-win for you and your cat. Next up is Peperomia. Peperomia come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. For the most part, they are very easy care plants. They prefer higher humidity and they like to dry out. They don't like to sit in a puddle too long or they'll rot. So these are very easy care plants. You don't have to give them very much water very often or you can keep them in terracotta. Cats really like these plants because they add 
add a little bit of pop of color. They're also really fun because you can tuck them on bookshelves, you can tuck them on tables. They're very hardy plants, especially if you get something like a Peperomia orbifolia or a Peperomia obtusifolia. They're very easy care plants. And because they don't require a lot of maintenance, you get to enjoy them as well. And it adds a little bit of pop of color in places you may not have been able to fit another plant. They also work really well if you want to put them up somewhere and your cat likes to lay next to them. We all know that cats love to shove things off of shelves and peperomias are really not that large, but you can use command strips on the bottom of your pots to keep your pots from being shoved off of shelves and off of tables and then it'll be removable and very easy for you later if you want to move your plant or if you need to repot or something along those lines. Plus, your cat won't be able to destroy the pot and the plant. Last but not least is Pilea. Pilea like a lot of light. Pilea also like a higher humidity. They are 100% non-toxic to cats. And Pilea peppermoides in particular has little UFO shaped leaves at the end of these long stems which make for very fun cat toys. It's almost like a pom-pom at the end of a stick for a cat. They just love to bat them around. The leaves will also move in the sunlight too, which is really cool, trying to catch as much light as possible. Cats really enjoy this movement. Even the older cats that just kind of want to relax and watch the plants and not play so much, they'll still enjoy this plant. They're great for window sills, so the plant and your cat can sun each other together, which would be really, really fun and super cute for you to see as well. Overall, plants and cats can live in harmony in a home. You don't have to have toxic plants in your home in order to get those jungle vibes going on you can still have your beautiful kitty able to be in your home and be safe and have plants that they would enjoy as well as you while still having a beautiful green houseplant aesthetic. Hopefully this eased your fears and gave you some ideas. You can definitely visit indoorgardening.com for more information. We're always happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you and your fur babies in the next one. Bye!